Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss how Parse, a backend as a service platform, can be used in existing Android applications to send push notifications. And uh, the specific topic will be uh, client enabled push. To start with, we would need to know how parse.com and uh, Android applications are linked. To begin with, all we need to do is go to the website parse.com, sign up for a user account, and uh, with your user account, you can create as many apps you need. To use that apps or to connect that apps in the Android Studio, you would need to create an application. And in the application, you will find build.gradle. Under that, you can add these two lines in the dependencies and rebuild your project so that you're all set. You can use all uh, parse services in your application. The next important thing is to create a Java class which extends application. And this class will act as a gateway between the app in the parse.com and uh, the Android Studio application. You will initialize all uh, parse, that is, you will uh, mention the keys the application id and the client id here the other thing is to add internet permissions in the manifest to use the pars uh, services and also make sure you set the android dot android uh, colon name property in the application tag to the name of application class that was created in step three just to go through this is my android application first thing is you will need to add the dependencies to the uh, uh, these lines to the dependencies and rebuild your project. The next thing is to create a Java class which extends application and uh, this uh, this will initialize the parse. And other thing is in the manifest to add the internet permissions and also make sure you have android colon name property set to the class name which extends application and that is under the application tag thank you and uh, we can move ahead to push in order to use push in your android application we would need to follow the below steps the one specific thing to notice all com.parse.starter should be replaced with your application package name and uh, that is mentioned here too so please ensure that you're doing it and getting into the android developers guide the push notifications we have already talked about setting up push which is nothing but following all these steps then the installations when we talk about push notifications and parse installations play a very important role that is every parse application installed on a device registered for push notification has an associated installation object that is the installation object is where you store all the data needed to target push notifications. That said, we will look into how the push can be sent. The push can be sent by two ways. The push notifications can be sent by two ways, by channels and tar advanced targeting. Channels is used to send push notifications to a number of users. While advanced targeting is used when you, when you are sending push notifications to specific users. Or both channels and advanced targeting ways can be performed from push console and uh, the REST API or from the cloud code. However, push notifications can also be triggered from the client SDK and that is what we are going to look into in this video. 
If you have decided that you are going to trigger push notifications from the existing client SDK, please make sure to set client push enabled in the push notification settings of your Parse app. Let me show you that. This is my app. Please go to settings under which you can find push under which there is client push enabled that should be marked to s as i have already enabled client pushing uh this is s please ensure that this is marked to s in your app before proceeding with what is provided in my video so uh let me uh, go with the demo and Articles Hub is our application where all uh, users, where all login users can post their uh, articles. The posted articles can be liked by other users of that application. And whenever other users like the articles, the owner of the article will be sent a push notification stating that some other user has liked your article this is all about the application so let me uh, in order to describe how push notifications takes place i have uh, another system here in remote i'm running one instance of the application of the app here while the other instance here in my first instance I'm going to log in as user one I'm login again and here I'm user one I have another user user two who has posted some articles here I can like his articles and let us look into the other instance now here I'm logging in as user two You can see I can like articles of user 1 if I am logged in as user 2 and here I can uh, like articles of user 2 as I have logged in as user 1. So as a user 1 I am uh, liking an article of user 2. A push notification is sent. Yes, you can find a push notification here. It says that, hello, your article is liked by another user. So, let us uh, Now, I am liking an article, an article of user 1 as a user 2. Yes push notification is sent to user 1 stating that your article is liked by another user i will do that again i'm a i'm user 1 and i'm liking an article by user 2 push notification is sent to uh, user 2 stating that Your article is liked by another user. Now I'm sending, I'm liking an article of user one as user two. A push notification is sent to user here. And it tells that, hello, your article is liked by another user. And uh, this is how 
the client enable push works let me let us look into the code now we have got this is the on click of the like button when the like button is clicked parse installation object is queried and uh, i am uh, searching for the i am getting the parse installation object which corresponds to the user id that is the owner of the article that i liked then i'm setting the data that is your article is liked by another user that's a json uh, uh, object and uh, here is the push object and i'm setting the query the parse installation query and i'm setting the json data and i'm setting it in background when the push notification is sent successfully i receive a toast like push notification sent is the is the whatever error it is so another most important thing to notice is the push service has a generic receiver called as parse push broadcast receiver whenever you send push notifications this parse push broadcast receiver uh, receives the notification and uh, all actions pertaining to the notification is performed by this parse push broadcast receiver however if you have an idea to customize the notification you can very well create a custom receiver and i have uh, created a custom receiver which extends parse push broadcast receiver and i am uh, trying to do some customizations in the notification that is i am getting the json object extracting the required uh, fields and uh, creating a, a builder a notification builder populating with all necessary stuffs that i liked then uh, a notification manager object is created the notification is being set to it and we are done this is the custom uh, receiver and if you have a custom receiver please make sure that you do not use parse push broadcast receiver and you use the custom receiver you have used you have created and also make sure that android exported is false to uh, ensure the security of your application and uh, this is how parse push takes place and uh, thank you for watching the code for custom receiver is this and that of sending queries sending the push notifications is here thank you so much for watching